Dr. Vicki Peterson here. There's a lot of talk about vitamin D and I think it's enough in the news and doctors, even conventional medicine doctors, are measuring it in patients' blood and talking about it and that's great. Uh, vitamin D is known to um, protect your bones and protect you against cancer. It's a steroid, so it's a natural anti-inflammatory. It has so many different benefits and I've definitely talked about those and blogged about those. You can visit the website at Root Cause Medical Clinics and uh, learn more about that. Um, but my concern is that uh, we've talked and learned about vitamin D, but unfortunately our education to our patients about uh, vitamin K2 has been insufficient. I was just speaking to a potential new patient uh, yesterday and she's a woman in her 60s um, and so she's taking vitamin D for her bones and she's taking calcium for her bones but she also has a history of kidney stones, she has a history of heart disease and um, arterial placking so uh, deposition of calcium in the arteries and I asked her if she was taking vitamin K2 and she was like I never even heard of vitamin K2. So um, not that we can't get uh, vitamin K1 and K2 in our diet somewhat, but unfortunately, as, as high as the deficiency rate is of vitamin D, which is 90 some odd percent in the US, uh, vitamin K is no better. It, it tends to be right on par with that. So we tend to be deficient. And the real key here is that uh, vitamin D helps you absorb calcium, but vitamin K tells that calcium where to go. <laughs> it's the traffic cop that's directing the calcium into your bones, which is where you want it, but away from your arteries where you don't. Um, vitamin K2 is also associated with decreased cancer risk. There's talk about whether it's good for your bones or not. There's not quite enough evidence in that regard, but as far as making sure calcium is deposited in the right place and not in the wrong place, uh, that has been very well researched. So uh, there's vitamin K1 and K2. Uh, K1 is from plant sources. K2 is more from animal sources and fermented foods like natto and miso. Um, and uh, K1 can turn into K2, so uh, you can convert it. You need a healthy gut to convert it. And if you hear me chat about gut much, you know that here in the US, we are, that's not our strong point, like our diet is not our strong point. So um, to have the right bacteria to convert the K1 to K2 is probably not happening in, in the typical American, unfortunately. And um, when it comes to fermented foods, we're also not great at consuming those. Uh, so uh, balancing and, and perhaps augmenting with a, with a supplement is, is something that I often recommend for my patients when I find them deficient. Because as I said, I don't, I don't like the sources of uh, K2 other than the fermented sources that I just mentioned because it's uh, egg yolks and things that are, you know, not on my everyday eat list, um, liver and things like that. Uh, so I prefer that you eat a lot of plants, get a healthy gut, do the conversion that way, and probably augment with, with a supplement to make sure that you're getting enough, most especially if you have any issues with um, arterial placking, heart diseases in your family, etc. You know, you've, you've had this inappropriate deposition of calcium that's occurred uh, in your body, then, then very, very important. But it's really important for everyone. Um, D and K are the fat-soluble vitamins along with A and E, and we need balance of all of that. And it just turns out that um, we tend to be very deficient in D and K and it's not that readily accessible from our diet and that's just the the isness of it that is what is and so we need to now figure out a way to make sure that those nutrients that are so important are balanced now if you're on um, warfarin or any sort of um, medication that acts as a blood thinner you're going to be cautioned against taking uh, vitamin k and that's because it's a, a blood clotting, it helps with blood clotting, not 
inappropriate blood clotting. Um, we need our blood to clot or we would bleed out uh, from any little cut. So that's what it helps us do. But if you're someone whose blood is being thinned for a particular reason, then you'll probably be um, warned against doing any K, um, vitamin K. So um, you'll be, you know, they'll give you some dietary restrictions on that. There's been some research showing that decent amounts of K is not enough to counter that. But, um, you know, if, if you're on a blood thinner, you just have to follow your doctor's recommendations and hopefully we'll get you off that blood thinner and then you can get a nice balanced diet again. But if you are someone who has not heard of vitamin K, definitely uh, visit the website. Again, I have blogs on it. I have other videos on this channel on it. Uh, but it's very important and it's pretty easy to take them together. Uh, we have a liquid, it's on our site and um, our store is not at the moment perfect, but it's about to be updated, but the product is still there. So it's a vitamin uh, D3 K2 liquid. So it's very easy to take and they're just bound together. And then of course a healthy diet is gonna provide some as well. So I hope that was helpful and uh, I'll see you soon. If your health is not the way you want it to be, of course, reach out. That's why I'm here. Um, we have a team of doctors here at Root Cause. We get to the root cause of why your health is not the way you want it to be. We do so very effectively. We have an 85% success rate and we're here for you. So it doesn't matter if you don't live locally. We see patients from across the country. So reach out, give me a call. It's 408-733-0400. Uh, I'll talk to you soon.